After you go through the checkout process, you'll receive an email on how to access your new server panel. This is where you'll be able to manage your server, get the IP address, and so much more. When you complete your purchase, look for an email with the subject account created, and be sure to check your spam folder if you don't see it within a couple of minutes. Once you open the email, click the button that says set up your account, and this will take you to a page on the panel where you can set a password for your server. Once you log in, it will take you to a page that looks like this. This will show you all of the different servers that you have on your account. As long as your server says online right here, you should be able to click on the IP address and it will copy it to your computer's clipboard so that you can paste it into Minecraft and join the server. If you don't see online or you want to manage your server, you can hit manage server and it will take you to the actual panel of that specific server. If your server is not online, you can hit the start button right here to go ahead and boot up the server. And if you're having any trouble or difficulty starting your server, you can hit chat now in the bottom corner to talk directly with one of our live chat agents. Once your server is online, you can hit the squares right here to copy the IP address to your computer's clipboard and then head into Minecraft, hit multiplayer, add a server, and we can add the server address right here. Hit done, and then once it pings, you should be able to join the server. And here we go. If you want to op yourself on the server, you can do so by typing OP followed by your Minecraft username. Once you're done, hit enter, and it should make you a server operator. When you want to stop your server, you can hit the stop button right here. It should shut down properly, but if it gets hung, you can always hit the kill button right there as well. If you want to access the files on your server, you can hit file manager up in the menu bar. If you want to change versions or add a mod pack, hit mod packs up in the menu bar up here, and you can select from a variety of different versions as well as install mod packs. If you already have a version installed, you won't be able to install mod packs. So what we can do is hit uninstall, hit yes uninstall, and remember this will delete all of the files on your server, and then we can go to the mod pack installer and select a mod pack that has the correct amount of RAM for our server. For Pixelmon, for example, the minimum recommendation is six gigabytes and we are currently on an eight gigabyte plan. So we can install the latest version of Pixelmon, hit install, hit yes, and this will install the mod pack to the server. We have a full guide on installing mod packs in different versions, so be sure to check those out on help.simplegamehosting.com as well. And of course, if you ever have any additional questions, you can always hit chat now and talk directly with someone who can help.